Welcome to episode number three of the Titan Trials. This is Cliffhanger 2.0. Old versus new. Now, as you might recall, we were gonna do old versus new with the Titan and Big Green, but uh, yeah. What happened to Big Green? <laughs> yeah, he kind of broke down on the way to the trail yesterday. So Big Green's about a mile down the road. We still gotta go out there and fix him up. Well, I brought my stunt truck, the Hummer H2, so let's take them up the mountain. Still old versus new. Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, my name is Steven Elmer and I'm the newest face that you're going to see on TFL and specifically TFL Off-Road and TFLoffroad.com. Now we're going to be covering ATVs, dirt bikes, snowmobiles and of course side-by-sides. Now you'll also see me over on TFL Truck where I'm going to be bringing out some Canadian content specifically for those Canadian pickup truck buyers and I think we're going to have a lot of fun together so stay tuned. So under the hood of the new truck, this Nissan Titan Pro 4X, I have a 5.6 liter V8 making 390 horsepower, 394 pound-feet of torque, and it's sent through a seven-speed automatic transmission. Now because this is the Pro 4X, we also get a set of general grabber tires. I get beefy skid plates underneath, Bilstein shocks in the rear, a rear locker, and some technology like hill descent control, which they weren't even thinking of when that Hummer was built. And I mean, Andre, that thing is about as big as a house and it must be as heavy as one too. Yeah, the Hummer H2 is a heavy beast, but unlike that cute yellow truck over there, I have better clearance underneath. I have better tires. These are BF Goodrich KM2 mud terrain tires. And of course, under the hood is the reliable powertrain, 6.0 liter V8 with 316 horsepower, 360 pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to a four-speed automatic. I don't need any seven speeds here. Of course, I have low range gearing and a rear locker also. Okay, so we're getting ready to take on Cliffhanger 2.0 right now. So I'm gonna get this Titan ready. First of all, we're gonna put her down into four low. So you go four high, you push it in, down to four low, and it should pop in for us. I might have to shift it to neutral. Yep, there it is, I just heard it pop in. Now back to drive, and then the last thing is we're gonna lock the rear diff, which is a little button down here on my left. There it is. Took it a second there, but uh, now we're diff lock, ABS is off. We're as off-road ready as we can be, so let's get up this hill. I also have a lot of toys actually in this 2003 H2. First of all, I have my transfer case controls here. So I'm gonna go into neutral, and I'm gonna go four low. I heard it click. I also have a rear locker, enable that. And as a secret weapon, I can actually raise the rear end just a little bit more, about between one and two inches, so I can get better clearance. That Titan doesn't stand a chance. The H2 has never been up Cliffhanger 2.0, and this is currently our toughest off-road test. It get, it's steep in the beginning, but not bad. Then it gets really steep, up to about 20 degrees. Loose rocks is what makes it incredibly difficult. We beefed up the front end. We have this double shear front steering column mount. We also upgraded the front tie rod ends, which makes for a stronger front setup. Okay, so Andre, we got truth or dare right here, buddy. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take truth. Actually, okay. both of these are now really tough. Dare is usually tougher, but how about we save the dare side for when Big Green is back online yeah, and can great. charge up the mountain. Okay, truth it is. Okay guys, so this is my first time out on Cliffhanger 2.0 and uh, so far the Titan's done pretty well on these loose rocks. You know, the general grabbers have been slipping a little bit, but it's also just really loose, so everything's gonna slip. I'm trying to keep up a bit of momentum here. It's doing well. Hood's a bit bulbous. The sight lines aren't exactly ideal, but uh, it's not bad. Coming through this corner here. Oh yeah, no problem. That was very little slip. 
So I made it in the, up in the Titan fairly easily. Uh, let's see how Andre does in the H2. Okay, let me see how this goes. Ooh, not bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Let's go, buddy! Traction system is taking care of it. I'm going a little faster. This is my personal truck, so I can do whatever I want. And I'm not worried anymore. I'm just gonna do it! Steven, get out of the way! <laughs> All right! Yes! I did it! Okay, truth is done. Now razor bend. Woo! Dang, man. You did that the Russian way, huh? Yeah, the speedy way. <laughs> yeah. This is also known as Nathan's way. Oh, I see. <laughs> but the razor bend is still coming up. It's basically a jagged rock that okay. we have to kind of negotiate over. It's basically a test of clearance. Okay. So, a Roman might talk you through it. Yeah. Let's just hope so. Okay. Now we're headed up towards Razor's Bend, or Razor Bend, which I've been led to believe is pretty tricky. So uh, let's see how I can make it through and how this Titan can make it through. I do got Roman up here to spot me through because these rocks are pretty big. But so far, these grabbers have been grabbing well. All right, Steve, yeah. this is the Razor Bend. Razor Bend, okay, man. It's pretty tough. This tests your truck's traction and your clearance. Truck clearance. So I'm gonna try to spot you through this. Uh, yeah. So uh, follow me and uh, don't uh, tear the bottom out of the Titan. Okay, I'll do my best. All right, here we go. Okay, man. You're gonna want to put your wheel right on the razor bend over here. You see it? I'm gonna right on top of it. Okay. Yeah, I can see the rubber marks. All right, come on up. We're gonna take her a bit wide here. I can see where my driver's side wheel needs to be. Right, aim for the razor bend. Momentum, go. Perfect, straight on, straight on. Nice. Keep it going. Straight up now, straight up. Turn right, 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 right. Left, left, left. Nice, man. I might have been a little slow for it, but you know, the Titan grabbed and crawled over. A little more momentum maybe would have crashed me through, but that's how you break stuff too, so nothing's broken. We're good. Dude, I was impressed actually. The Titan handled the razor band. Pretty well. This jagged rock pretty well. Watch out for that though. <laughs> yeah, that's a tire cutter right there, man. <laughs> okay, so you know what? My uh, approach is going to be kind of brute force. Yeah? Yeah. You know, Steve, I don't blame Andre for not wanting to do dare. That's his own truck, and, you know, you don't want to break it. It can be a little rough out there for sure. Yeah, and he's pretty brave even to do razor bend, right? Yeah, and, I mean, he even said it. I tried to do some finesse through this corner. He's yeah. going to use brute force, so All right, here doesn't we go. matter what happens here. It's going to be fun to watch. It's my turn. Okay, whoa, this tree is actually really low. How am I going to negotiate it with my cargo box on top? <laughs> uh, clearance is an issue here. This truck is so wide and so big and heavy. It's about 7,000 pounds of curb weight. It's pummeling these rocks into submission, really. And, uh, oh boy, there's a tire popper there. Oh! <laughs> straight! Okay, I'm gonna take it. Take it straight! Is it climbing? Is it climbing? Gonna get it. Okay! <laughs> yes! Whoa! Made it look easy, yeah. Andre. Really? I smell the wonderful smell of burning mud terrains. Really? <laughs> the mud terrains are burning. <laughs> they are. But the trucks, how's the truck doing? So far, so good, dude. Alright, All right. well, you know, we're uh, almost at the top. Let's finish this bad boy off. Okay, let's do it. I thought you said this got easier, Roman. <laughs> Driver POV. Yeah. It's hard to show on film just how tricky this is. It really is, and you know, you're constantly adjusting, 
trying to pick out which rocks are going to be loose and flop over on you and which ones might not. And when you're on the move, it's pretty much impossible. So, this stupid Hummer is always in my rear view mirror, though. I don't like that. So, I have just one issue. I went through about a third of a tank of fuel just now. <laughs> look at this. Come look at this. Do you see this? Yeah. I just have about 30 miles left. It's okay, right? Yeah, but I'm gonna go downhill. 30 miles to Boulder. <laughs> wondering have you even had that Hummer off-road yet? Just once before but this was a major hard test yeah. and I think I just pummeled it into submission. I think so too man. How was it Titan? You know what it did really well I was really impressed you know for a stock truck with that off-road package it came up here uh, easily. For the next episode of Titan Trials we're gonna run it against Big Green when we fix it. Yeah that's gonna be fun to watch man and make sure you check out TFL Off-Road the newest channel in our portfolio. Yeah go check it out TFL Off-Road Power Sports. Okay, let me see how this goes. Ooh, not bad. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Let's go! Let's go, buddy!